Oh yeah, you'll have to forgive me for the road noise. It is only there. So um, here she is. 1990 Sierra Sapphire is a genuine 2000E. Um, obviously the differences between a genuine one and what I have here is that um, I put the Cozy bumpers on, Cozy skirt, Cozy spoiler, 4x4 grill, and that's as far as the Cozy F parts goes. Obviously you've got your VS got Cozy rims, uh, Cozy back box, but the exhaust is all custom so you can't really count that. Um, obviously the difference with the 2000E, let me open her up. Comes with two keys, full history as well, obviously his full original history up until I've got it, which I have all the receipts for. Central locking works. Now, I'll, you know, I'll let it air out because it's been sat here all day. I haven't quite moved it this morning, so we'll get her started up for you in a moment. Um, obviously, the difference is 2008, you've got the grey interior, which I've moisturised every fortnight, really. I did the other night as well. So the rear, that I've never really been sat in, probably um and when they have i've made sure people put a rag underneath their ass they've got buttons on their jeans so the seats are in good condition fronts i've always had a cover on um oh let me quickly get this cover off so you can see the condition of the interior so front seat's good obviously the front seat naturally has more wear than the rest of them but that's still in uh the lever ain't ripped um, and obviously it's probably worth keeping the keeping the seat covers on unless you go to shows and that of course yeah they're in generally really good condition um, the only the only things is only things of them is there is like a, a black mark there and some black mark here I'm pretty sure it's paint but dare I try to scratch it off I don't want to I don't want to get the material any worse um, because obviously they're not easy they're not easy accessible there's a few here and there when you want to replace them but there's no need um yeah so full interior and obviously the 2000e is quite a high spec car got electric windows in the back ashtrays that sort of stuff um central lock-in front door cars gray um right on the interior you've got see uh, you've got obviously your cassette then you've got a cd player and a 10 changer uh, wiring's all there Four electric windows, window lock, standard kind of light, Sierra stuff really. If you know about these cars, you know about it. All the interior lights. Um, you've also got an interior light in the boot. Sunroof opens. <laughs> nice and smooth. It has got a little bit of rust on the actual sunroof itself, a lot around the edges, but it still seals well and run smooth and obviously you've got the overhead slider there um great 2000 e steering wheel pretty good neck i mean there's a wear through mark well not wear through but there's a wear mark here and it's just a 32 year old four steering wheel but it's in good condition um and yeah, the steering wheel works got steering wheel adjuster yeah that's 2000 e sort of business and obviously ignore that i haven't put it in the book yet but you've got the ST170 handbook will service stuff, that's the engine related stuff. And then you've got every receipt for the car since it was new, handbooks, obviously all the paperwork I've got with it, which is all of that. Receipts for tracking, receipts for parts of the engine, retro four stuff. Um, all of that's in there, some brake grease. Uh, this is just tracking uh, paperwork that'll get sorted out. Um, you've got your onboard computer, that all works, lights work, doors work. The only thing that doesn't, well, it still works, still lights up with a key and ignition. Let me, uh, actually I'll show you in a minute, is the fuel trip, obviously, different engine. I've got the stuff that you can wire it back in with, and it probably will work, because it works off vacuum. I just haven't got around to it, and uh, you don't really, well, I mean, if you saw how much the fuel was doing, um, you probably have a heart attack, because... I bet it's probably about 30 miles to the gallon, which is, yes. Um, anyway, so yeah, you got the crack dash there, ain't too, too bad. Um, there's only one crack, but try to find Sierra, that one. So really, uh, interior is in original condition. 
Um, it's got the typical Sierra sag on the headliner, but that's uh, a Sierra stuff. All doors open shut, locked correctly as you'd expect. So let's do the exterior sec. There we go, the outside. So, um, cozy back box, cozy bumper. Oh, let's get underneath. It's hard to actually tell, but the underneath, although it's looking dusty and dirty, is in great condition. Um, suspiciously rust free. I have got a photo of the underside, but I will attach. It's one I bought, it's got the old bumpers on and the old engine, but the actual structure of the car is unreal. Um, it's got the clear lights on it. Uh, well, so to say, yeah, clear lights. Um, yeah, boot. Bodywork wise, keep in mind, 32 year old from Ford. The bloke before me had it repainted. Um, I can't see there being anything drastic underneath the paint. There's a few dings in it. But it's more, it's more just, like, there's a few blisters there. Blisters up here. These black plastics could do with another coat of paint or even replacing. They're not cracked, it's just the top layers, um, the top layer of paint's kind of on its way out. Oh yeah, let's look at the carpets. I mean, it's a bit dirty, I haven't hoovered it out yet, but the carpets themselves are, are spot on and you've got the actual Sierra floor mats and I've just got another floor mat underneath that just to keep it, keep from ruining the carpet sort of thing. Same with, um, same with the fronts. At the moment, I've just got some rubber transit mats here because they fit really well. But underneath, you've got Sierra Ford, like genuine Sierra Ford um, floor mats. And then, obviously, carpets underneath that are in good condition. But I've got some photos of that. Let's have a look at the engine bay. Have a view on the front. So, fog lights, headlights, headlight washers. Um, Laguna splitter, it is cracked, it, just, it stays together, it's not falling off, but um, it being so low, it's just the nature of it. Genuine Cosworth bumper um, with a black black inlay in it. The sides are chrome, they are, that's just a 2000E package, so it's up to you if you black the side trim out or leave it as it is, I was left it as it is because it's got chrome around the windows, it looks really good. 4x4 bonnet. Genuine, genuine vents, genuine bonnet. I came with the car to be fair. There's a dent, small dent in the middle, but that could be paint dent removal. Let's uh, grab that and put that up there. So you've got the ST170 engine. I fitted it myself. I was a mechanic for eight years. Now I'm in the oil and gas industry, so it's all done. You know, a retail doesn't put it together anyway. Um, well, that's debatable, but it's not unsafe. So you've got the genuine ST170 airbox. I'm trying to keep it OEM plus, so I've gone for plastic airbox, no cone. The math filter isn't used, that could do be blanking off, but it's, it's there. So it's got a new filter in it, ST1 filter housing, ST1 filter elbow, ST170 um, throttle body, Zeus B plenum chamber, ST170 bases with new um, clips and all that. Uh, you've got a two litre black top, fuel rail, because that runs really well. I think it's three bar. Um, or 33 so I forgot which one it is. But that's right for that. You, uh, new inject, well, new injectors. Um, they've just been cleaned through. Longer leads, you've got the Retro 4 coil relocator, new coil, new plugs. Um, obviously that's all under there. You've got the ST170 ME221 loom. I'm trying to find a good example of where it's like really nicely labeled up. Uh, right here, all labeled up correctly. That's a brand new loom for it. Um, runs in the same same Sierra state just around the back and you've got a new um, new auxiliary belt the alternator is a five uh, five um, rib the rest of them's six or the other way around that's a four that's a five anyway so there's a rib missing here but it's not the belt shaved down that's just because the alternator kind of dictates that but it fits up well on the bottom pulley so that's all that uh, matters there then you've got a cosy rad that's um, held in there with the original rubber mounts. You've got just a little uh, come off there for the heater because I've got the heater still hooked up, power steering still hooked up. Um, aircon's not hooked up, but it has got the old aircon rads and that for the, in, the interior. I was going to get a Mondeo setup from my local scrappy, but Mondeo setup would work because it 
just runs off a bracket that you can still fit but I'll have a aircon condenser and that all still fits on the engine I've got the bracket I'll throw in the boot of the car all you've got to do is take yourself off another car um, new battery two years ago not sure if that really makes much of a difference like I say power still still hooked up I've relocated it to this side just so there's more room in the bay um, it just hooks up to the Z, uh, Z-Tech blacktop power steering pump which doesn't whine and then that goes down to the rad um, on a custom hose it could do with an oil catch can at the moment I did have it dump into the ground but I'm on my parents drive and then they got a bit, a bit annoyed with the patches of oil so I've just got it getting catched into a water bottle there um, but normally I just have it straight to ground yeah so the engine when I bought it had 100, I don't know, 113,000 miles on it so I just gave it a full service check the oil on it oil's coming up nice and black and clean um, it wasn't really much problem the only reason it came off the road was because the car rusted out I believe um, the engine's strong it doesn't see a really rough life with me but there's no indication of it wearing out um, head gasket's fine all of that I was told the belt itself had been done not long after the car was taken off the road I have got a new belt that can come with the car that's like a 90 quid uh, belt full kit that is um, OE spec as well so it's right for the car um, and obviously it's really accessible around the front oh yeah new water pump on it might as well say that um, brake booster works it's got ST170 and Mark III Mondo brakes in it which fit really nice in them rims um, they're quite tight but they're perfect and that, that'll lock it up does need rear brakes going to the MOT but it ain't squeaking or nothing and uh, so that's uh, something a nice little weekend job for you um, it's got the carpet underneath the bonnet which as you know if you follow the cosy scene it's rare enough to find a, a 4x4 bonnet ain't you know ain't fucked with the grills and then you've got the carpet on the inside so if you want to put a standard one back on you can make six seven hundred quid off that um what else what else is there to declare really pinto starter because it's using a pinto uh z tech and pinto slash drill flywheel fuck knows what's going on there but that's burton job burton performance is where i got it from i went with the pinto clutches because the pinto clutch is like 60 quid so 60 quid easy accessible and also there's a lot of performance upgrade ones for it um and obviously you need a new flywheel because these came with dual masses um which you can't fit on the MT75 gearbox. So it's got an MT5, MT75 gearbox. It's got the um, extending pin, so it's not, I haven't gone, it's got a standard Pinto MT75, they're the same uh, release bearing with an extended pin for the arm. Um, benefit of that is you, I haven't got that uh, release bearing, it's got the water, which has got the space to glue to go out for the body as fuck. So it's got that, that works on the cable, cable's strong, it's fine. Um, doesn't slip it's perfect it, you know does what you need it to do it's not heavy either I'll show you in a minute it ain't heavy so it's actually a really nice car in traffic the only thing I would say in traffic is, is if it gets any hotter than this and you're sat for more than an hour it does get hot so it's got one rad fan on it with a wiring quite accessible up in the corner there but um, if you're planning on sitting in traffic more than an hour in the summer um, you can either turn it off and put another rad fan on there is space for it but no, when you're on the road, she doesn't overheat. She's a really well-behaved engine. Retro Ford manifold goes down to a four to, four to one, two and a half inch system. It's got a silencer in the middle of a cosy back box. We'll start up in a minute. We'll listen to it. Sounds sweet as fuck. Um, so that's all that. That's nice. I don't know. Retro Ford alternator. There's a lot of stuff in the spec spec sheet that's worth having a look at. So I'm, I'm trying to go through it off the top of my head, but um, and then water stays pressurized there's no um, anti-freeze at the moment because it's middle of summer and um i just did a water pump on it so i thought i'll make sure that's not leaking which isn't so that's good yeah um also i mean it's not a lot more to declare really cosy rims like i say um brand new rear tires um because they got scrubbed out the front's got good tread on them but they got camera on so as you can imagine Oh, can I get in that? Can I get in there? As you can imagine, uh, the inner wear, the inside wears more than the outside, but, but it's still fine. It's not a problem. It comes with a spare um, tire, spare rim and tire, completely set full size. Doesn't come with a spare cap, so once you swift them over, you keep the cap on the wheel. 
Um, I suppose there's enough gas in us. Uh, start her up, I suppose. Shut the door up. I'll quickly put the seat off here. Right. So yeah, key as per normal. That's the original keys. Does everything on the car. There's two of them. The other one's inside. Um, yeah, dash lights, all lights up. I can't really sell in the sun, but. That's the first time since started this morning. In the summer, you, you're kind of good to go right away. In the winter, you do got to let it heat up, which ain't really a problem because you've got to let the screen be missed anyway. Oh yeah, front front and rear screens, they both work. Um, yeah, it's, it's just not really much to say. RPM works, that's hooked up and right. It's got an ME221, so it just kind of splines off that and that sets all the calibration, so. Mileage is... Well, 17,500, 117,000, yeah, so, but, that trip, that all works. Right, let's go around the front, let's listen to the engine. So yeah, it runs pretty sweet. Idles about 800 RPM, which is, which is right for the engine. Again, you can plug a laptop in, the software to tune it is free. I had it tuned at um, Motorsbox Electronics, which is actually makes ECU. Sorry for camera views, a bit all 